नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर टी लाइव फोन एंड इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम माय नेम इज तनवी खुराना एंड इन दिस मैथ्स क्लास वी आर अबाउट टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक एरियाज ऑफ पैरालोग्राम्स एंड ट्रायंगल्स पार्ट वन बिकॉज दिस इज अज टॉपिक सो वील टेक इट इन सर्टन पार्ट एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट सो प्लीज वॉच दिस प्रोग्राम एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन एनी क्वेरीज दैन सिंपली कॉल अस ऑन आर नंबर विच इज डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन दिस इज अ टेंथ क्लास प्रोग्राम एंड I beg your pardon. This is the ninth class program, and all the ninth class students here watching us on PME with their channel number nine. And if you have any queries and you want to reach us through our email ID, that would be dth. class nine at the rate cit. nic. in. Now let me introduce to you our today's guest, and she is none other than Mrs. Bina Prakash. A very warm welcome to you, ma'am. Thank you, Tanvi ji. Thank you. Namaskar ma'am thank you uh, to you for being with us let me introduce you to all our viewers she is a senior pgt in mathematics from campion school bhopal so let me request her to begin this entire program and uh, ma'am tell us uh, tell us all our viewers that what exactly uh, are we going to discuss in this program good afternoon everyone and i hope all the children are following what we are doing in the online classes we are trying our best to do the best for you all i hope you are all benefited by it uh, today i'll take up the next chapter it's a not that big chapter it's a small chapter but it's a chapter which will require which is required for other geometrical part so i have taken up this chapter now the chapter says that we are finding the areas of a parallelogram as this part at area of a parallelogram we have already studied in the previous class is nothing but the base the formula for finding the area of a parallelogram is get the value of the product of base which is multiplied by its altitude altitude means it's the distance between the two parallel lines we we'll take up the distance between the two parallel lines this is known as the altitude that is its link between the two parallel lines it's the formula that we have to find the area of the parallelogram so this using this formula we will go ahead that is if we have that the theorem that we have that areas of a parallelogram between the same parallel and on the same base you have a base the base is dc and on this dc Uh, we let's take a line which is parallel to dc that is this line that we have there is a line which happens to be parallel to so let me have this line this is the line that we have which is parallel to dc fine so this two lines they are parallel to each other and between these two parallel lines if you draw any number of parallelograms with the same base dc you will find that the area of all those parallelograms will be same so let's take up this proof that is let's compare for two parallelograms and then we can generalize like we are taking the area of this adcb 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 is a parallelogram which is divided into two figures one is the quadrilateral dcbe and the other one is the triangle ad So the sum of these two figures is the parallelogram area. Fine. Now, what we do is we'll just compare the triangle AED and triangle BFC. What we find is BE and BC they are the opposite sides of a parallelogram. Sorry, this is sorry, not this side. Ah, B B E E D E and cf they are the opposite sides of this parallelogram and the two angles that is when two lines are parallel the line this line happens to be a uh, transverse so obviously these two angles will be equal likewise we can have these two angles also equal the two triangles will come out to be congruent by asa or even you can prove it by sas because we know that abcb is another parallelogram we can have ad pass equal to bc so all this property that we have studied for com from congruence is applicable here so this says that the triangle two triangles ad and bfc they are congruent 
Now, when the triangles are congruent, when two triangles, triangles are congruent means they have everything same. That is, when you superimpose the two figures, they will come out to be same. That is, one over the other. So, obviously, their areas will also be same. So, we have the area of CBF, that is CBF at ADE. So, we have the sum of these two as nothing but the area of the parallelogram uh, E, this is E, T, C, F. So, we have the area of the parallelogram ADCB equal to area of the parallelogram EDCF and they are on the same way DC and between the same parallel. So, any number of parallelogram doesn't make any difference how many, any number of parallelograms will always have this property. The next property is a triangle and a parallelogram. If they are on the same base and between the same parallel, like we have again PC and AB, they are parallel and ABCD is a parallelogram. I mean a triangle also on the same base DC. DPC is a triangle. So, the triangle's area can be compared with the parallelogram's area. How? Let's see. Let's take up the space. Area of triangle DCP. Area of triangle DCB is nothing but half DC multiplied the base multiplied by altitude. This is the altitude, no PQ, the perpendicular distance from the opposite side. Now, let's make some rearrangement in this statement. Let's take twice and half. That is 2 times half will make it 1. So, half of DC and product of the half of PC and PQ is nothing but the area of the triangle PDC. So, we find that this quantity is nothing but area of triangle DC. So, that says that if a triangle and a parallelogram have the same base and the triangle is on that opposite side, that is the third vertex of the triangle is on the opposite side of the parallelogram, then whenever you would like to compare the area, you will find that the area of the triangle will always be half the area of the parallelogram. Fine? Till this it's clear I think. Let's take up now this question. We have this question that is E, F, G are respectively E, F, G, H are respectively the midpoints of the sides of the parallelogram A, B. So A, B, C, B is already a parallelogram and E, F, G, H are the midpoints. Now we need to show that the quadrilateral that we have EFGH, EFGH, do you remember children we discussed about this quadrilateral in the last class, a quadrilateral formed by joining the midpoints of a parallelogram or any quadrilateral will always be a parallelogram. So what we find is even EFGH becomes a parallelogram. So we have to see, find the area of this parallelogram so formed in terms of area of the parallelogram that we already have that is ABCD. So the relation is that smaller triangle the parallelogram that we have is half the bigger one. So again how do we prove that we have just now taken this that is A, E, D and if the parallelogram the triangle A this is F, E, H and the parallelogram A, F, H, D. They have the same base, F, they are on the same base. What is that base that we have? It is F, H. And they are between the same parallel. That is A, D is parallel to F, H. So, we can always compare the triangle, <coughs> area of triangle E, F, H with, a, with the parallelogram A, F, H, D. This is the result that we have. Twice of area of triangle FEH is area of AFHD. Similarly, we come to the other side. We find that FGH is again another triangle which is having a base AFH of the same as that of the parallelogram FHCC. And it's the third vertex that is G is on the opposite side of that parallelogram. So, obviously, the triangle's area E, the F, H, G triangle's area will also be half the parallelogram's area F, D, C, H. So, we write these two results and now let's add the two results. When the two results are added, we find that 
these two triangles they add up to a parallelogram, quadrilateral E F G N, which happens to be a parallelogram. Okay, so we find that the smaller parallelogram that we have is nothing but its twice area is the area of the bigger parallelogram. So this is the second thing that we have. Fine. Now let's move on to the next thing. Now here we have. P, Q are any points lying on D, C and A, D. P and Q are any two points lying on two sides of this parallelogram A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. The P is this point on D, C and Q is a point on A, D. So you are again comparing the two triangles area. That is area of triangle A, P, D and area of triangle B, Q, C. They have same areas. So again, how do we take up? See, it's again we are comparing. Let's compare it with the original parallelogram that is A, the triangles ABC and BCQ. They are the parts, or they have with respect to the parallelogram ABCD. So we let's compare it with that parallelogram ABCD. So we have twice area of ABD and twice A is equal to area of ABC. Now twice area of BCQ is area of ABC. So what do we find with this? We have the area of triangle APB equal to the area of BCQ. Is that clear? I hope it's clear. Yes, ma'am. It is clear. Now we move on to the next. We have the two triangles on the same base and between the same parallel. They also have the equal area. I'll just try to show you. Now, what we see here is, see, look, can you see this line A? This is one line. I've taken this line AB, and this is another line CH. They are two parallel lines, and you can very well see the three triangles that has been made. The three triangles that has been made. One is the triangle DFE. The other is the triangle DHE. The third is the triangle IDE. The three triangles that we have, they all have equal areas. So where do you find the third vertex of the triangle? They all have having the same base. ये है ना base इसका? So इसका third vertex देखिए आप लोग. देखिए कहाँ पे हो रहा है तीसरा vertex कहाँ है? It is on the parallel side. That is AB. इसे जो parallel गया है उसपे. Now you just see, I am moving the triangle, look at the red triangle is moving. Is its area changing? Can you read the area of it? Are you able to read it? Yes, yes ma'am, it is readable. Okay, so what do you find? Now you can take the third vertex on this parallel side. Even you shift this vertex edge, the blue triangle is moving. Just see, the triangle edge is, uh, sorry, the vertex edge is moving on that line which is parallel, but the base is fixed. So what we find is, if you take up any triangle, see, okay, okay, we have, we find that the areas will always remain the same. So this is the thing that we need to have in it. So which has been explained through this, that is the area of the triangle ABC, area of triangle ABC is half base multiplied by AB, its altitude, and triangle BCD is nothing but half its base, that is BC, multiplied by its perpendicular. So now we have that even right hand sides, they are equal because the two parallel sides, that is distance between the two, Parallel sides will be same anywhere. Hence, these have these two quantities equal, which says that the two triangles will always be having equal areas. So, up to this, it's clear. Shall I move to the next question? Yes, ma'am. We have a trap question. That is, if we make a triangle, let me make a triangle. Now, in this triangle, let me mark a point on this, which happens to be the midpoint of it. Fine? Now, what we are trying to prove is, for any triangle, the midpoint 
divides the triangle into two equal areas. We have this as P. We have to prove that the median. What is median? AP is the median. AP is the median of the triangle. So median, what is the median? Median is a line which will divide the opposite side into two equal parts. Fine. So in this case, actually, this I'll just do one thing. I'll make another. I'll use this triangle A B. Let me have a scaling triangle. Let me have a scaling triangle. Let the point C be here. Now, A, A, B, A, B. I'll change this. Now, as I said, P is the midpoint. So let me join. Just a minute. This is A. That's C. Okay. Now, does it look like a scaling triangle? Scaling triangle means all sides are different. Now, let's take up the midpoint and join it. It looks like the midpoint. P is the midpoint. The P midpoint is here. So, it's dividing these two sides into two equal parts. Now, the question is to prove that area of the triangle A, B, C and the area of triangle A, C, P, they are equal and it's actually equal to half the area of triangle A, B, C. So how should we take up this? What we have is, let's again go in for the perpendicular, let's draw the altitude that is the perpendicular because that's the definition of the area of the triangle. What is it? Area of the triangle is area of any triangle A, B, B is half its base. Now its base happens to be BC which is multiplied by, let me take this point as Q, we have this as AQ. Now similarly area of triangle A, B, C, this is nothing but half Again, PC multiplied by AQ. Why will this be same? Why will this be same? That is because the opposite side, BC's opposite vertex is A and its altitude is this line only. This is the only line which will be the altitude of the base, which will be same for both. So, we see that the right side quantity AQ, AQ are same half and half and then and we also have that P is the midpoint. So if P is the midpoint, we have BP's length equal to PC. So what do we get from here? We have the area of triangle ABP is equal to area of triangle ABC. Fine. So this is what we have as another question. Now let me take up some questions from the exercise. Take you. Here. What we see is we have in triangle ABC, E is the midpoint. We have E as the midpoint, the midpoint of the AD. Now you have to show that a midpoint of the median, if you take up the midpoint of the median, it is further dividing the triangle. That is, you have the midpoint of the median. This is the midpoint of the median and this is further making different triangles. We have this triangle B, E, we have this triangle B, E, C. Now we need to prove that the triangle that we have formed, area of the triangle, this is to be proved, that is area of triangle B, E, B, is one fourth of area of triangle ABC. One fourth. Let us use this result. Abhi humne ek result dekha tha. 
keep the median of a triangle, divide the triangle into two equal halves. So, aap ye dekhi ye triangle. In triangle ABP, in triangle ABP, is it ABE the median? BE happens to be the median. BE is median. So, what we have is if BE to median hai, it will divide the triangle that is area of triangle BEP will be half the area of triangle ABP. Abhi hum ne bhi area of triangle this is this from here what we find this is equal to it is already half of what is the area of triangle ABP? It is half of area of triangle ABP. So this we find that this will be area of that is a median of the median will also divide the triangle into four equal parts with equal areas. That is areas are equal. They are not congruent. Don't confuse it with congruency. Their areas will be equal. So that's the next question that we have. Now we move on to the next question. In this question, what is mentioned here is you have this figure, this figure, in this figure, we have just a minute. This figure, what does this say? Can you see this figure? Is yes. It? Yes, ma'am. We have the triangle ABC and in this there is one line ABC is this triangle, ABD is another triangle. They are on the same base AB. They are on the same base AB. The line CD is bisected. This is bisected. That means it is divided into two parts at O. And you have to prove that the triangle ABC and triangle ABD. A, B, C and triangle ADD will have same area. How do we take up this? How should we take up this area of this is the figure that we have ABC and area of ABD. They have the same Let's work on this. How do we prove that area of triangle ABC and area of triangle ADC are equal? How should we prove it? Well, let's draw this perpendicular on it. Draw a perpendicular on it. Can you read something? What do we find from here? We find that the areas of these two triangles won't they be equal? Yes, won't they be equal? The congruent area of triangle CPO and area of, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, not the area. It's the triangle CPO congruent to triangle TQO. Why are they equal? Why are they equal? The congruence, try to recollect the congruence theorem. Angle P and angle Q are equal. CO is equal to OD. It is already given. And these two are two vertically opposite angles. Once we have two angles at one side, we already have this AA congruency. We have the two triangles congruence. What does this imply? This will always imply that the third side, that is CP, that is CP and CP will always be equal to DQ. And then you add on this quantity half of AB. Half of AB is added to both the sides. And then the remaining part is same multiplied by this is multiplied by CP. The equality sign will not change. Now can you read the answer? Are you able to read the answer? Is it okay? Check it. We have half base multiplied by it is nothing but the area of the triangle ABC. 
and the other part half may be multiplied by C C cube is nothing but the area of the triangle A D A D B. It's not A D C. It is A D B. So is this clear now? Shall we move on to the next question? Ma'am, uh, we don't have time for the next question. Can you give it uh, to the students as homework? So there are few, only few more questions. All these questions are based on whatever we discussed before, apart from what we discussed today. It's a combination of whatever chapters we have discussed. So if you are familiar with the previous chapter, definitely all the questions that we have in this can be attempted. So let's, uh, children, please try it. And the next class, if we have, we'll go through those questions. Okay? Absolutely. Sure, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all the viewers. Just like ma'am said, there are many more questions in this chapter. So if you have done these questions, which ma'am explained, and if you've done the previous chapter, I'm sure you'll be able to do the rest of the questions. And if there is any problem, any error you're facing, then uh, the next part will come very, very soon of the same topic, which is areas of parallelograms and triangles. And that would be part two, which will come very soon. So stay here, don't go anywhere. We're coming back with another program of ours that would be of social science for all the ninth class students. And the topic of discussion would be uh, forest society and colonialism, some pedagogical challenges. So stay here, keep your questions ready and keep on watching PME Vidya channels. Thank you once again. Take care. Namaskar.